lovely starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles used to hold. Hi and welcome to Handmade by Ditsy Tulip. I'm Mel and thanks for stopping by my channel. In today's video I'm just going to share my latest make um, for the Minerva Crafts Blogger Network. Um, I did share with you in a previous plans video that I was going to be making this and for once I've actually stuck to a plan. That doesn't happen very often but this time I have stuck to a plan and made what I said I was going to make. So this is it, this is what I'm wearing. It's the named clothing, oh, so Soinku or something like that, can't quite think what it's called but something along those lines. Uh, but the kimono tee anyway, the kimono tee, that, uh, the kimono tee pattern that they um, have got in their range. And um, I absolutely love it, really love how this turned out. So the fabric, um, that I used is a French terry in this gorgeous bright pink and navy blue stripe. I've just noticed it actually really matches the pink of the uh, flowers here which is, uh, which is good too. Um, so yeah really love this fabric it was an absolute treat to work with. Um, it cuts fine, it sews really well i sewed it purely on the overlocker apart from the neckline now the neckline is the only bit where i had a bit of trouble so i'll tell you about that um in in a short while um so yeah the the uh, neckline was stitched on my standard sewing machine but everything else was purely made with the overlocker so just uh, what, what i'm going to share in the video is um i'll pop some bits of other video and some photos and things in so you can um, see what it looks like worn um, but I wanted to share with you a bit more about the fabric and a bit about the pattern itself and of course the area that I struggled with which is the neck. So um, yeah fabric cut really well, sewed really well, um, it's striped and if you can see Pretty pleased with my stripe matching there. I think I've done um, a pretty good job. So in order to ensure that I could stripe match, um, I didn't cut this out on the fold. I lay it flat. I only had 1.2 meters and that was enough to make this top in my size because uh, it's quite wide. This fabric is about 150 wide. So 1.2 meters was enough. So it was a real, um, bargain make as well of course I didn't pay for the fabric it was provided by Minerva but if you were um, paying for the fabric um, it's quite um, a bargain make if you're in the smaller size range um, it does go to a little bit more fabric I think it's 1.4 meters in the um, larger sizes so just make sure you check the pattern for how much fabric you need for your size so back to matching stripes I think I went off on a bit of a tangent there so yeah I um, lay the fabric out flat on the table I then lay the pattern pieces on top traced round it with a chalk wheel flipped the pattern piece over and carried on um, tracing round it with the chalk wheel and then um, cut it out and that way I could make sure that the straps ma matched at the side the way that I did that is I just ensured that the uh, bottom of the pattern piece on the front and the back and the notches all sat in the same place on the stripes and that ensured that it matches up at that side seam. So um, let me show you the fabric up it's close. It's quite a heavier weight fabric this but it's still super super comfortable. You can see it has got stretch and if you can see on the inside it is the loop back or French terry. I think that it works really well with this pattern because it's still nice and soft and it still drapes <coughs> well because it's a knit fabric but it gives it that little bit of stability as well. Let me just position myself right so you keep the shape 
around the shoulders and the sleeves so I think it works really really well for this pattern the pattern did say that you can interface the cuff on the sleeves and the belt if you wanted it to have a little bit more of a structured look but I chose not to do that I left them um, uninterfaced and quite happy with how they turned out you can wear this um, open without a tie belt or with a tie belt hopefully I'll be putting some pictures in so you can see what it looks like without the tie um, and you attach some belt loops on the side there um, to, to help put, keep the tie in place I've actually made this tie half the length that it should be because I wouldn't have had enough fabric to um, match the stripes if I made it the, the length that it should be but it's it's turned out fine I mean there's still plenty of give there to tie it in a bow and if I didn't want it in a bow and just had it as ties there would be even more length so for me that's worked out absolutely fine I think the way that the pattern is designed is more of a traditional kimono type look and you actually wrap the belt round twice um, if you make it to its full length but um, I, I didn't do that um, so yeah I, I definitely prefer wearing it with the tie belt because I think that this gives me it makes me look like I've got more shape than what I actually have because I haven't got a very shapely figure at all um, but I think the combination of the shape of the pattern and the horizontal stripes um, with clinching it in at the waist with the tie belt <clears throat> I just think it um, gives me a little bit more shape than I've got naturally so I really like that about the pattern as well so the bit that was tricky then and that is simply just the neckline so the way that you um, sew this neckline is you attach a piece of knit bias binding um, to the outside to the right side here and then you flip that over to the inside and then um, stitch it in place and so what I used if you can see is some contract you need a lighter weight knit fabric if you if you were making your own bias that's what it suggested so I used some um, cotton jersey that I'd got in my stash but what made it tricky is it kept on curling up so trying to stitch it evenly all the way around when in some parts it was curling up more than others um, was really really um, difficult and it ended up, I ended up getting quite frustrated with it and um, just ended up doing a little bit of a bod job so I will share with you what has gone a little bit wrong um, first thing you can see a little bit of the colour is peeking out on the outside of the top which shouldn't happen but that really doesn't bother me too much and the other thing is you just see find where it is and this has been really really picky with myself but I'm, I, I do want to share it just to kind of show you the things that don't bother me that much um, because the bias binding was curling up hopefully you can see there the stitch line didn't quite meet so you can see two um, different stitch lines on that bit there and I thought about should I unpick it or does it really bother me that much and being absolutely honest it doesn't bother me really at all I know it's there but I don't think other people would really notice it um, and I ran the risk of unpicking it because it's a knit fabric it may have put holes in the fabric so it just wasn't, wasn't worth the risk but that really was the only thing that is difficult about this pattern somebody else commented when I shared it on Instagram to say that they gave up on the bias binding and ended up just overlocking the neckline and then folding it in and top stitching it in place and um, so you, you you could do that as well and um, to avoid the messing about with the um, bias binding like, like I did the one other thing that I may change slightly next time is make it a little bit higher on the neck line there when I'm wearing it like this it's fine but when I'm wearing it with a coat it can pull down a little bit and be a little bit gapy um, in the area there not that I've got any cleavage that I could flash but um, if I did then I might have been showing a little bit 
So that's it, that's what I wanted to share with you today. I will definitely, definitely be making more of this pattern um, because it's super comfortable, really easy to wear. You could dress it up a little bit, but you can also wear it really casually. Um, I have been doing a little bit of different types of more creative videos, hopefully. Well, that's what I'm planning to do and I will have inserted them in the way as I've gone rather than just the photos. So hopefully um, you've enjoyed that as you've watched as well. But yeah, I definitely recommend this pattern um, and I will definitely be sharing more versions of this with you very soon. So that's it. Um, remember to subscribe to the channel if you don't already so that you um, don't miss out on any of my future videos. You can hit the little bell button and then it will notify you when I do release a new video. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and feel free as always to ask any questions in the comments below or add any links um, to any blog posts or photos or anything um, that you want to share when you've made this top. So that's it, have a wonderful week and I will see you very soon. Bye! Magic rainbows glisten in my head Just like a child I live in wonderland All my dreams are coming true Heavy shackles used to hold me down